M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Both on UV17 Pro modified firmware on the McClure site, there is a list of the changes here. The main one being Airband, and it does say that it adds some customized colors and voice pack editor. Not sure what that is, so I just thought, well, I might as well add it. So it says scroll down here and click the link here, download the zip, which we're going to do. I have got the radio, as you can see, connected to my PC at the moment via the a Bofun cable. Hopefully that one will work, but we do have other cables if needed. So let's run that zip. Double click, yes. Keep running it through. Hopefully it's gonna be quite straightforward. Create a desktop shortcut. Associate BFUV's Pro NCPS modified with the DAP file. Not really sure what that means. Do I do that? Just going to go next, launch. Okay, oh, right, we have instructions here. That's the software which I recognize. Let's read the instructions. It puts a shortcut here, and it looks like this isn't firmware. This is the, uh, the programming software itself. So let's add, let's read from the radio. We'll go program, it's all connected. Oh, we need to go right click. Device Manager, double click, the port is 9, you can see there 9, so we'll go Settings, Port, 9, then we'll, we'll try and read from the radio, read, if it fails I'll try my other cable. So it's not reading now. This is the original, the, the original software. I'll put a link in for that and watch. We go settings, port nine. It's all good. I've already read, but we'll do it again. Read, and it reads fine. You see the radio. Now, if we just cancel, click OK, close that down, go to the new one. So we'll go double click this modified one. It looks the same, doesn't it? And we're choosing 17 Pro. It's the one I've got. Um, settings, port, nine, same port, read. And it just doesn't read. It says, you know, like it's the wrong cable. And then we can try right, and it's just not communicating. Although the radio is, you know, it's giving that window like it's trying to communicate. I can't see what I'm doing wrong now. What I'll do, I'll go back to the software. This is the software I'll give for the original software. I'll put that link in. But anyway, first of all, go back to the modified one. We'll rerun it. Great shortcut. This time I will tick that box because I didn't last time. Associate BF, that one there. Maybe that'll do the trick. No. It says um, automatically close. Yeah, we'll go tell it to close. Yeah. Launch. Okay. Tools. It looks like, I mean, you can see looking at this, that they've added things that upload starter. There is their voice pack editor. And in this, it, when you get this working, you can put in an airbound frequency and it will load to the radio. I think you do need to use the software. So let's do it again. Settings, and we're going to go read. This time with the extension. And it's not reading. Let me turn the radio on and off. You never know. Like so, right click device manager, port, there it is there, 9CH340 is what we'd expect, read. So it's not working. Now I've got here the G20, let's try that one, very, very similar radio. G20 model. 
plugging in the cable. Hopefully you can see it. So again, we need to just, well, the comm won't change. It is possible that my cable wasn't pushed in. No, because it was working on the other one. So we'll, we'll just quickly go port nine, yep, yeah, read. It's trying. Like the other one, it's trying. Let's try a different model. 20. And we'll go read. Exactly the same. So someone let me know. What am I doing wrong? And I'll show you the original link for the other software. Which is here. And then I did look at UV17R. Maybe mine's not the pro model. Maybe that's it's as simple as that. You've got to have the pro. Mine might just be the 17R. So thanks for watching my channel. Bye for now.